need. No, we're not all you need. We're a part of what you need. But if you don't get help to go and get a therapist, if you don't get help to sit with a doctor and see if there's medication that can maybe balance this thought process off or if you don't you as the person that's going through what's going that's going through what's going on in your head or what's actually going on with you and you feel is going on with you when it comes to the world and how you're being treated and how things are happening the friendship and the support is just a cushion for a heavy fall and there's only so many times the human body can take a fall and get back up Now, I don't think people who deal with SI are the issue. I think the issue is how we as loved ones will let something we know or someone we know is not in the greatest of mentalities right now just coexist with us. And we won't attempt to do research to look into what is the suggestion for that for something that may help them get better or help move them out of that space. We don't really look into what are certain IG channels or YouTubes that I can make recommendations to do my own research and go back to the loved one and have a conversation with how is this I affecting them? Are you seeing this, this, and this? Is this what you're dealing with? And we sometimes don't do our own due diligence of reaching out to professionals um, for example, end of each one of my clips that I put out there or content that I work on on a YouTube side, I make sure at the bottom that there's resources people can reach out to. So for example, on the men's side, we have expressyourselfblackmen.com. On the community side, we have loveyourselftoday.org. Correction, we have loveyourmindtoday.org on the community side. We also have cliniciansofcolor.org that I advertise underneath most of my videos that I put out there for content purposes in terms of if folks look for resources or to get help outside of the platform, we just make content and we make peaceful spaces for folks to have the conversations where they feel safe enough to share what they usually wouldn't be able to talk about and really have the general conversation of what is the struggle, how do people meet in the middle, and what can we do for them. On the community side, we also have inclusivetherapist.com. So there's other resources outside of the platforms of the conversations that we've created on Get Home Safe, the talks that we've had about folks that are either treating those with SI or dealing with SI themselves. And the reason I bring this back, just to bring it back into focus is, as a community, we are to surround people with love and understanding if we could find the capacity for that. But don't assume that you doing that is the solution for what the person is going through because you don't want to get comfortable or to a place where the person is suffering and we as a group become okay with the suffrage of our friends and family but we don't make suggestions of what does the better version of help look like for them because we're helping ourselves. It's not our jobs to tell ourselves or the people where all you, you need. No, we're not all you need. We're a part of what you need, but if you don't get help to go and get a therapist, if you don't get help to sit with a doctor and see if there's medication that can maybe balance this thought process off or if you don't you as the person that's going through what's going that's going through what's going on in your head or what's actually going on with you and you feel is going on with you when it comes to the world and how you're being treated and how things are happening the friendship and the support is just a cushion for a heavy fall and there's only so many times the human body can take a fall and get back up we're built to break. We're, we're built to also build ourselves back up. But there are breaks. And each one of us has a certain amount of breaks that we can take. And we have a certain amount of limits to how many breaks we can go through until we can no longer pick up the pieces or the pieces will no longer fit with who we are or who we've become. If you're dealing with SI or suicidal ideation or you know someone that's dealing with SI or suicidal ideation and you have 
you are there for them and you're doing your best to be there for them as a suggestion it's okay to look into things with them it's okay to make time for meetings they may have to go to it's okay to i wouldn't say not leave them alone but make yourself available when they need you to but it's not okay to just accept things as they are because they're not gone yet i'm sorry not everyone's gonna make it i do understand that but when it comes to this work, a lot of this work that I do has a uh, less than 33% survival rate. I've lost a lot of people in the work that I've done. And I don't say those words lightly and it's it's not it's not any harder yesterday as it is today, but doing the work and understanding that the work doesn't always help you still have work to do and you still have folks to look out for and you still have people to reach out to and you still are going to have people that you have to be honest with in life. 